Okay, back in Assetto Corso, one of my favorite drives is Topanga Canyon Road, and it's in LA. Love this drive, but one of the weird things that I've noticed in this is that um, the road textures listen, and so it's not perfectly clear. It's a little bit irritating, if I'm honest. Um, and I think that it has to do with something that the map maker did or didn't do in creating this originally and hasn't kept that up to date. But still one of my favorite drives, so want to come out here and uh, do the do, be the bee. Come on, dude. I don't know where you're going. You can see the road texture doesn't look quite right. And the AI behaves a little oddly out here, too. Realize that I'm still in my uh, making boots. <laughs> the pedals feel like they do in my real car when I drive it with my boots on. Which isn't a bad thing, I guess. The other thing, I'm really frustrated uh, tonight, I uh, had a NVIDIA driver update available to me, so I like to keep my stuff up to date, you know, because a lot of times that if I don't, I wind up with problems uh, with software, etc., not not behaving as I would expect it to, so keep the stuff updated as best I can. And uh, then all of a sudden went to launch uh, Seto Corsa and wouldn't... Uh, wouldn't load uh, up the triples. It would uh, pop single screen. And I looked through the logs and looked as though it was failing to see one of the screens. And uh, then it was just dumping out to the default 2560 resolution. So this is really weird. The trick for me was if you run into that problem when you upgrade to, I think it's 566 is the current NVIDIA driver was released today, November 12th. Um, um, so you run into the problem, uh, turn off full screen in the uh, set of course uh, video settings and make sure that the resolution is set in there um, to your triple screen width. Um, I believe that I was using a plug-in because it was still set at 2560 1440 but said to use triple configuration and uh, I think that there was a I remember a widget I couldn't find it in my set of course setup so I don't know if that's a, something that maybe changed with CSP and something that was just working magically until I updated the driver imagine that that's the case, but... Very, very weird behavior, though. I was very frustrated for about an hour trying to figure out... ...why things were not working properly. I love this road. I just wish it was slightly updated. Because it does look a little, I don't know, dated. Getting quite a few uh, people. I, I love comments on my videos and uh, appreciate people taking the time to watch them, first of all. And, to care enough to provide a comment, positive or negative. But I am seeing a lot of negative comments. Uh, a couple of people are like, you know, do this or that, it's 2024. It's like, I'm glad you know what year it is. Uh, and just because I like a map uh, that's a little dated, uh, it behaves a little funky, uh, doesn't mean it's a bad thing, bad map. 
I just love this road. I've driven it in real life. And I don't think I've done a video on it before. So, I wanted to share it. Because it's a kick-ass drive. California roads. I, I, I think that... I guess there are roads other places that are like this as well, but... They flow. Um, like they have... Uh, the arcs are... Consistent. So you can drive them fairly high speed and you know what to expect in any corner, exactly what the radius is going to be. Whoa. Exactly what the radius is going to be. I just really love California roads. I've driven a lot of places in the United States. Not so much internationally, but in the United States at least. Um, I really, really, I love California roads. Going through the hills and the windy nature of them. There are places that I have driven that um, the turns are different somehow. I don't know if it's the radiuses are tighter or what it is, but um, people riding with you tend to get car sick more. <laughs> is not good if you're driving an expensive car. You don't want people puking in your Porsche. You probably don't want people puking in your Camry either, but... I digress. Yeah, I wish I could figure out, I wish I could figure out how to fix the road texture. That would be pretty freaking cool. I could just fix it and make it look like it should. Same BMW has done that same like hook into a guardrail a couple of times. <laughs> driven this road quite a bit, not only uh, in uh, Assetto Corsa, but in, in real life, as I hit the guardrail. But I am almost at the end of the map. but boy is it fun. And you can go back the other way, which, you know, I want to do. Ha <laughs> ha! 
commented on uh, one of my videos, my recent videos that, I think it was the Remember Green video that I just did, that uh, LA Canyons, if you buy the full VIP package set, there's uh, about 60 miles worth of uh, road to drive in LA Canyons, which is pretty cool. I didn't realize it was quite that extensive, but I do have the VIP package and I've driven quite a bit. I think the video that I did of LA Canyons was just the main circuit. Is, uh, driving a road like this is like I'll see a car hanging out of a driveway and I'll like pause for just a second go is that a cop even though I'm driving in a simulator it's it's kind of weird just how you visually tune into certain things and uh, pay attention to them differently and it takes a second for your mind to kind of go oh wait a second Although you can't do car chases in this as well. One of the things that's uh, funny, I started reading about, I saw Dave Cam did a video um, on the whole uh, no hezzy thing that you can do. Um, I guess it's real popular. Um, no hezzy staying for no hesitation. And uh, traffic dodging, essentially, um, on busy, congested roads. Uh, the uh, Shotoko Revival Project is used quite frequently as uh, part of that. I guess you can then connect to a server and drive with other lunatic drivers. And the critiques that I read about it, the reason why I'm actually not going to try it, at least not at this point, is that I guess a lot of the cars are tuned to be unrealistically grippy to make you know diving in and out of traffic easier. Um, more arcadey in terms of the performance. And that's not why I drive a simulator, I guess. Um, and I do, you know, a Seto Corsa and uh, iRacing and uh, ACC, uh, Automobilista 2, um, all of those are simulator class R Factor 2 in that category, Le Mans uh, Ultimate. All of those, they're simulator class experiences, which, what's the difference? Uh, the difference is that the, the cars have a tire model that at least is in some fashion configured to be um, configured in some fashion to, to be based in reality. 
And so, like, there is a point at which this car will break free um, from, and, and it's it's really close. Like, uh, you know, I have driven high performance supercars in real life, and the behavior characteristics are very close to real in terms of uh, how the car behaves under braking. And oh, well, he just kind of flew off the road. Glad I got past him. Um, there are limits to the adhesion um, in driving this. And I, I like driving like that. And, you know, if I'm driving in and out of traffic, I would prefer to be more realistic. And no hezzy is, I guess, not characteristically that way. Though it looks like a ton of fun. Uh, Dave Cam seems to be having a lot of fun with it. In fact, he's admitted a minor addiction to it in his most recent video. Um, and I can see how that would be the case. It's one of the things, somebody actually uh, said that, you know, well, after you drive it for, you know, a little while, it's just boring. And that's kind of the point. And that's actually one of the reasons I like, like, these evening drives on windy roads, is I, my work is very mentally taxing. I have to stay fairly engaged and focused and be at my best throughout the day be able to answer questions and um, speak in front of large audiences and all that kind of stuff so this driving is a way to disconnect from that mental side I mean it's got mental aspects to it but it's different like I can talk I can talk while I'm driving. See? Realistic. I lost the front end a little bit. Save the car from annihilation. But anyway, um, this is a relaxation for me. So I get the no hezzy thing is it's a way to kind of check out. You're, you're focused on something that becomes more instinctual than requiring actual thought. And that's cathartic if you're, you know, uber engaged and having to problem solve and do other sorts of things. This is, this is a catharsis that Helps me unwind. Helps me be a better me. Helps me get to my next day. Without wrecking my car in real life. <laughs> I would never drive like this in real life. What is this guy who doing? Here we are. I think we're probably uh, a little low on fuel, so pull up here and uh, get some gas. Well, thanks for uh, joining me. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. I uh, I like these drives. These are fun, um, and showing you my favorite tracks is kind of part of it. This is definitely one of my favorite roads to drive. Not one of my favorite tracks visually, <coughs> and that's, as I said before, because it's a little out of date. So uh, it is what it is. Thanks for joining me. Um, like, subscribe, all that other kind of good stuff uh, as you see fit. Um, definitely keep the comments coming, and we'll keep uh, doing fun drives. I've done some research uh, around some of the drives uh, that I wanted to do. Um, one of them is the guy that did the, uh, uh, the French drive, the Tannenkirk drive, uh, that, that map. He did two other maps, and I loaded them into my Assetto Corsa, and neither one of them actually launched properly. Um, I have no idea why. 
So I don't know if there's an error in those files or some other sort of problem I haven't figured out yet, but they look pretty from the picture. So I want to drive this at some point. I just haven't had a chance yet. And there are a few others that have been rec uh, recommended to me in comments of other videos that I have yet to seek out, but I will. Um, so stay tuned for that. And uh, again, thanks. Take care. Das macht Rennsport.